On this video, I'm showing you how to set up and play Xbox games on your Steam Deck, and that starts right now. Hey guys, Ryan here with Camp Gaming. Thank you so much for being here. So if you were lucky enough to get your hands on a Steam Deck, First of all, congratulations. And since you clicked on this video, chances are you would like to be able to play your Xbox games on your new Steam Deck. Well, today I'm going to walk you through the process step by step. It's a multi-step process and you will need to type in some commands. So strap in and be prepared to pause the screen a time or two. Also, this process might be a little bit easier if you use a external keyboard and mouse connected to your Steam Deck. But if you don't have that available to you, never fear. It's also possible to do this using the Steam key plus X to bring up the virtual keyboard and use the built-in track pads and touch pads as well. Okay, so let's get right into it. Okay, step one, on your Steam Deck, press the Steam button, select power, then select switch to desktop. Step two, Look for the Discover Software Center. This option should be available in the taskbar and it looks like a shopping bag. Step three, select applications. Step four, now select internet, then select web browsers. Step five, find Microsoft Edge, scroll until you see Microsoft Edge beta, and then select install. Step six, now let's get back to the desktop. Step seven, now let's pull up the application launcher. The launcher icon will be on the bottom left of the taskbar. Just simply click on it. Step eight, now select internet. Step nine, right click on Microsoft Edge Beta, then select add to Steam. Step 10, find and select Microsoft Edge in the add a game window. Just scroll and locate Microsoft Edge Beta. Step 11, select console, that's console with a K by going to the application menu. Navigate to system and then select console. Step 12, now we're going to enter a command to the console. I'm going to post the command exactly as it should be entered on the screen. Be sure to hit pause as soon as the command comes up on the screen and enter it exactly as it appears before continuing on. Okay, enter this code into the console. Once you have this command typed in exactly as I've shown you, press enter. You can type in the word exit and press enter to close the terminal window. Step 13, now open Steam by selecting the Steam icon on the desktop. Step 14, select the library tab. Navigate to Microsoft Edge Beta in the list and then right click on it and select properties. Step 15, now we will make the following changes to the Microsoft Edge Beta shortcut. First, change the name next to the icon to Xbox Cloud Gaming Beta. Next, scroll down to Launch Options and append the following code after the at at you at at. Be sure to pause the video again and enter this code exactly as it appears on the screen. Now you can close this window once you are done. Step 16. Now let's navigate to Xbox Cloud Gaming Beta in the Steam Library right click on it and select manage and then controller layout. Step 17, in the Steam controller configurator, select browse configs under the template section. Select gamepad with mouse trackpad, select apply configuration, then select done. Side note, I had a little bit of an issue getting this to work correctly myself. It seems that this window is a bit buggy and I had to touch around on the screen to get the prompts to pop up for some reason. So just keep that in mind. At this point, everything should work as long as you have a viable xCloud account. You can now return to gaming mode and access your shortcut to Xbox Cloud Gaming by finding it in the non-Steam section of your library. But we can go an extra step to add some custom artwork provided by Microsoft to make everything look nice and on brand. You can go to the following web address using the web browser on the Steam Deck in desktop mode and download the official artwork from Microsoft. I'll also post this link in the video description for you as well. Be sure to download the folders that are here and extract them to your documents folder on your Steam Deck. Now, while still in desktop mode, launch Steam, navigate to Xbox Cloud Gaming Beta in your library, right click on it and select properties. Now you can add the icon. Select the blank square to the left of the name of the shortcut. 
find the appropriate artwork in the documents folder and select it. You can do the same thing with the banner image in the game library. Right click on the blank area behind the title above the play button, select custom background, find the Xbox Cloud Gaming banner and select it. Now we can add the artwork for the capsule which is the taller rectangle icon that appears in some of the library views. It looks like this. Right click on the blank image, select manage, set custom artwork, find the capsule artwork and set it. Once you've launched Xbox Cloud Gaming at least one time, it will appear in a recent games list. We can update the artwork the same way here as well. Now everything should look fantastic and it's ready to go and time to play. I hope you're enjoying your new Steam Deck and I hope this tutorial helped you get xCloud up and running on your new device. Be sure to let me know if you have any questions or comments, post them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for exploring the wonderful world of video games with me. I am Ryan and I will see you on the next video. Bye bye.